Hello everyone. This is July the 24th, 2023. It's already 22 degrees out and I think it's going to hit in the 30s before the day's over. It's still early in the morning. Okay, so it's about uh, 10 a.m. And you can see we're at the Woodside Ferry Terminal at 9 Atlantic Street in Dartmouth. Okay, today's walk is a walk I tried before and never completed because uh, somehow I got lost on the trail. We're going to attempt it again today. I tried a little bit the other day just to make sure I got off on the right footing, but I was doing a different video that day. So today, we're walking all the way to the Dartmouth Ferry Terminal, from Woodside Ferry Terminal. Okay? Should be a good walk. It's a perfect day. There's no wind. The sun is nice, and there'll be trees along the way for some shade if I get hot. And above all, I just went across the road right there to Tim Hortons and got myself a medium double-double. So that should help with the journey, I think. With that, off we go. I'm just walking across the parking lot going towards the ferry terminal, but we don't have to go all the way to get on this trail. We'll be right inside of it, but, but we don't have to get, go down there to get on the trail. Okay? In case you can't tell, those big yellow things, that's the ship. It's uh, that ship right there. Something they're using to take parts out to the ocean where they're building those wind turbines. But I've showed those before, so we're not going to get too concerned about that today. From time to time, we'll be able to see the city of Halifax in the background, like you can right there. And there'll be times we won't be able to see it because of trees and things like that. But basically, we're just walking from south to north, right from the south end to north end, but we're across the harbor. So we are walking in South Dartmouth to north. I guess it's, I don't know if Woodside is considered part of Dartmouth or if it's a, a town all its own that I'm not 100% sure about. I got a feeling it's part of Dartmouth because just down the street is the Dartmouth Hospital. So I'm guessing that Woodside is a, is like a little community that's part of Dartmouth. It'd be safe to assume that, I think. George's Island right over there. I look at it from this side. <clears throat> One day I have to take, before this summer's over, I have to take a trip to George's Island and make a video of it, because I know it's a great, it would make a great video. A lot of history there. Anyways, we'll head up the stairs towards the uh, ferry terminal area. What the ferry terminal itself is right there, right down there. Okay, but we're going to the trail, which is just up here, I think. <laughs> I think. I hope. Uh, maybe we did it wrong. I think we did it wrong. Here I am, lost already before I even get started. Huh. What is it? What am I to do? Well, we'll go back down here and try again. I think I took the wrong, took the wrong pathway. We have to be down. Well, oh, this might get me there, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think I could get down through here if I wanted to. Might as well, since I'm already here. 
on the wrong trail, I might as well take a shortcut to rectify the situation. This grass could be a little wet, but a little water never hurt anybody. So there we go. What am I saying? A little water. We got a drench in the last couple of days. All right, so I'll try to get down here without getting my feet too wet, if I can. I think we'll be all right. We're just getting over a flood situation here. We had heavy downpour rains that lasted a long time. And at times it was like 20 millimeters an hour. So we got a lot of rain in a very short time. Now I'm on the trail. This is going to take us all the way up to, to the ferry terminal in Dartmouth. And here's a little map of it. I'm not going to try to follow this map, but it uh, shows it all, all the way down to downtown Dartmouth from Woodside, which is up there. Okay, right there. Woodside Ferry Terminal, right there. And the downtown ferry terminal, we got to go all the way down around that water. And the downtown ferry terminal is and right there, Alderney, Alderney Ferry Terminal. All right, so we're good. Take a look at the skyline before we take off here. There's the McDonald Bridge up there. We won't be going quite that far, but close to it. Okay. Let's go. I already walked down here. I didn't video it because I just, I was just walking down here. And so I got quite a few kilometers on already. By the time I walk back up to the terminal and then go home, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have my days walking in, no doubt about that. All right, I just gotta stop for a minute. I didn't think ahead. And I didn't open my coffee before I started my video, so bear with me. <laughs> if I can get it open, I'm trying. Bear with me here. Oh, okay, I got it. All is well. All is well in the coffee world. I got my cup open. See. All right. The last time I came down here, I just wanted to see where the trail started because I got lost coming down. I came the other way. I came from Dartmouth, Alderney Terminal, to Woodside, but I couldn't make it all the way. Somehow I wound up on the sidewalk up in the street and couldn't figure out where the terminal was from there, from the trail. I couldn't find a way to get, get over there on the trail, so we're going this way. And we should be able to uh, figure it out by going this way. Starting at the problem end and walking to the other end. Okay, here's a great shot of the city right here. Look at this, you can see both ferry, ferries at once, one going, one coming. Isn't that a beautiful picture of the city? The sun shining on it and the water calm. Now, who wouldn't want to live here, huh? You tell me. If you're living in Ontario or Vancouver or wherever you live, who wouldn't want to live right here? It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful province. It's a beautiful, it is a beautiful province, but this is a beautiful city. But I gotta tell you something, you see those containers over there? We had a big problem with this. The, all the container traffic is stopped. We got one rail line going out of east and west from here. And with this heavy rain, this downpour we got that I was talking about and the flooding, it washed out part of the train track and a good long piece of track and all the the the, the build up down below it that was holding the train track it all washed out all the gravel and all the stuff and all you can see down at the bottom are two of those big steel culvert tubes that the everything was piled on top of so there's no train traffic leaving these ports there's you got the two container terminals you got one there and you got one up 
that way up in the north end, going towards Bedford. And there's no no way the trains can go anywhere from here. There's one line, which maybe that needs to be fixed in case something happens to one again. You still have the other one. You'll have a second one. Anyways, that's the situation we're in now. So they better get at it quick and get that line fixed because it's going to take some work because it looks like a deep hole down in there where, where the look like there should have been a bridge under it or something and and uh, anyway they got to fix it so no rail traffic out of here until that's fixed bad situation all right enough of woe and gloom let's try positive we're gonna walk this trail to Alderney on this beautiful beautiful Monday morning and like I said there'll be some shade along the way from the trees it is getting warm already yeah, it's, it's probably up to 24 by now wouldn't doubt it. Could be 24, 23, 24, somewhere in the way now. It's supposed to hit 30, 30 something today before it's over. Like I said, you can't see the city all the way because the trees, and you got trees the way now. But there's times that we get out, we pop out into the open again. And isn't this beautiful down in here? great little walkway nice and wide I say it's about four feet wide I mean eight feet wide probably <clears throat> lots of room for bicycles and people whatever your mode of transportation is I see a fellow video maker coming coming up the, the lane here Are you a YouTuber as well? Are, are you a Are you a video maker too? Oh no 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 no! I, someday maybe. Yeah I yeah. Gimbal. That's a nice one. Yeah, I do I do YouTube. I, oh nice. Yeah nice. yeah. I'm past my. I got about 1,200 subscribers now. What's your channel? Halifax Walker. Halifax Walker. Yes, I could always use another subscriber. Listen, you're getting one. <laughs> there we go. Thanks. <laughs> Done. Very good, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you might enjoy some of them. Oh, it definitely will. I came down this path yeah. about two months ago. Oh, yeah. And somewhere between here and where it goes to the ferry terminal, yeah. I wound up up on the street, and I couldn't figure out <laughs> how this trail finished. Oh, yeah. So today I'm starting at that end, yeah. and I'm going to Alderney. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, you're going to get all the way to Alderney? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I just moved here a couple years ago. Did you? Where are you from? Cape Breton. Oh, yeah. Yeah, down Sydney area. I moved here five years ago from Toronto. Oh, go away. Okay. Yeah. We got here around the same time then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 2019-ish. I love it here. Oh, it was yeah. 2018. Oh, 2018. Yeah, we got here in August 31st, 2018. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. July 31st. First, oh. first August. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, nice to meet you yes, there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, I will, trust me. Some of them are pretty funny. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you seem like... You seem I like put my guy. own brand on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's your name, if you don't mind me Paul. Asking? Paul, I'm David. Nice I'm, to meet you. I'm almost like the Beatles, Paul McCartney. Yeah. You yeah. take out a couple of letters, and you'll have my name. I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Nice to meet you. You too, man. Yeah, Go take care. You. Well, there you go. I met a nice young man on the trail. I saw him making a little video there and I thought he might be a, a video maker, but he says he wants to be. He wants to be a, a YouTuber. So maybe he'll get inspiration from my videos. And I don't mind other people doing it because we're all different. Right? Nobody, nobody can be me. And I can't be, I can't be anybody else that's making videos. We're all different. So you could put your, you put your own brand on it. If, uh, so 
no no competition in this it's not a, it's not a contest so uh, maybe one day I'll meet him again and he'll be uh, walking along making videos he's like us he moved here he moved here from Cape Breton in 2019 and we moved here from Toronto in 2018 End of, end of July, 1st of August, that weekend. And it was hot. It was like this weather. It was hot that year. It wasn't fine logging boxes and furniture and stuff, but we had to do it. You want another look at the city from this spot? Train track down there, too. The train will be going once they fix the, the washout. Alright. We'll continue on. I think we're going to be okay today. What I could have done, oh, there could be another trail like that. When I was coming the other way, I might have just taken that and walked up to the street, and then, the tra and then my trail seemed to disappear. Yeah, and I wasn't sure because I didn't realize I had taken a, a wrong turn. That's probably what happened. It's probably uh, probably pretty straightforward. But I had to make it complicated. Well, I gained a new subscriber this morning. Seems like a very friendly fella. Hopefully I inspired him to go out and get a gimbal and start making videos. It don't take a lot of equipment to make a video. It takes a cell phone and one of these handles that swivel, they're called a gimbal. And that's all you need. And a computer, you need a computer. Well, you don't need it, you can, you can export it to YouTube right off your phone, but <clears throat> that's probably not a bad idea, because, I mean, not a good idea, because you, you always have to fix things things that happen along the way, you want to take them out and stuff like that, and Hi. hello, and there's a lot of things happen, like sometimes somebody will jump in front of your camera and they'll start swearing or something, you never see those things, I, they have, I have them happen sometimes, and you don't see those when you see my videos, because we take all that stuff out. All the bad things, all the nonsense. But if I get lost on the trail, I'm going to leave that because that's kind of entertaining. But but the, oh, I've I've even uh, stepped into holes and fell down and skinned my knees up. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I had all kinds of uh, accidents happen along the trail before. I think it was Peggy's Cove a year or two ago. I stepped in a hole down there. I just said, I was, my wife was, was walking with my son, and I was by myself. We'd gone two different directions. And, I, and they were doing construction down there. Some of these holes were like a foot deep, a couple feet deep. And I was saying as I was walking along, I said, I better watch these holes I don't wind up in a fall and step in one of those holes. I don't want to say that to myself. And I stepped in a hole. And down I went. The good side of it was two real beautiful women came to my rescue. Now I know what to do. You just got to fall and a couple of nice looking women will come pick you up. So they came over and grabbed me by the arms and said, you okay? I, yeah, I think so. I think I'm all right. And I kind of helped myself up too, but they helped me there and make sure everything's good and yep, so that was uh, 
that was that was fun to have two beautiful women run to your rescue <laughs> well I, I gotta move it along here yeah? <laughs> we got a lot of wheel traffic here this morning. Now I just gotta be careful that I don't, if there's two pathways that I don't take the wrong one here. Because I didn't, uh, I don't remember if I get this far when I get off the trail, I'm not sure. No trespassing construction area. Oh, the building's coming down here, that's the way. And yeah, we're part way, construction area up there. So that's fenced in, that's good. Anyway, I'm still on the right track because they got these fences here. And they got the same kind of fences by the, up farther they have some. Well, this is going to be a great walk all the way to the Alderney Terminal. From Woodside Terminal to Alderney. Isn't this great? And it is a nice biking trail. If anybody wants to go riding their bike somewhere, this is a really nice place to ride your bike. Must be a big construction job because this fence goes back there quite a ways. There's some steel beams up there. I love construction. I love seeing buildings go up. Grass and trees are nice, but I like to be, I'm a city, I'm a city person. I don't like the country. I like city, I like the country to take a drive and, and you know, and look at things, but I like the, I like the city. I like being downtown. I like walking around where everything is. Toronto was great. I miss it in a lot of ways, but there's stuff I don't miss. The drivers up there are really rude. I hope they don't mind me saying that because only the, the rude ones will mind me saying that. The, the ones that aren't rude won't mind because they know it's not them I'm talking about. I'm talking about the rude ones. You get out on the 401, and if I'll tell, well, I'll tell you an incident that happened to me one time. I'm on the 401 in the collector lanes. In the second lane over, you don't want to go in the right lane if you're in the collector lanes, and because that's the merging lane. So I take the second one, and there's still another one, and then there's the express. This guy comes up on our bumper, starts tooting his horn, waving back and forth, giving us a finger, all kinds of this kind of stuff and it was and he followed us for miles and no matter how slow we went he stayed right behind us kept doing these maneuvers and uh, I don't remember how it ended but it did somehow oh I see what the, what happened look there's a road right here and I might have made it to here and then I, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Well, now it's all crystal clear. I won't have that mistake again. again. Anyways, yeah, and, and I've had several times on Highway 400. They do the same thing. And once we're on our way to Barry and somebody done the same thing again. They had all those other lanes to go by and they pulled right in behind us and started tailgating us again. So I got out my phone and took pictures of them. And... Uh, we're about to uh, call the police when when uh, he decided to go around us. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Maybe, maybe right there. There's a there's a trail up over the hill. I might have done that right here. That's probably where it all went wrong. I can't walk down that road because that's uh, going inside of a place where we're not supposed to walk. So I can't go down that road. I have to stick to the trail. 
That's private. Private road. Anyways, I get off topic here. Let's forget about those bad drivers in Toronto and be thankful we live here in this beautiful, beautiful city of Halifax and the beautiful province of Nova Scotia where people are friendly. Oh, there's a few odd odd ones once in a while that, that do something crazy, but not really that often. Most often, people stop and let you out. They don't speed up and try to run over you as you're on the crosswalk. You slow down and stop and let you go across. And People stop their cars in the road and let you pull out. I do, I do. I don't do it all the time. It depends on the situation, but I do it fairly often. Anyways, let's continue. Continue making our way up to uh, the terminal. It's not that far of a walk. It's only it's only long if you think it is. It's not that far. I know you'll enjoy this walk to the terminal. Let's see how much time it took us so far. Twenty-six minutes. It's not even a not even a half hour yet. You can see the ferry over there coming out of the Alderney Terminal. See, it's not that far. We'll be there in, I don't know, 45 minutes maybe. That's a good length video. Now I know, before some of you folks say, oh, you've been on that walkway before, yes, but I never walked it all the way from Woodside to Alderney. And for those that haven't seen some of my other walks on this trail, It'll still be great for them. And if you, and you haven't seen the whole thing, if you've seen me on this trail, I haven't been down, I don't think this far yet. Just before this maybe where I, I think it was right back there where that goes up over the hill is where I got off the trail. Well, that's me. That, that wouldn't happen to everybody, that just happened to me. Cause that's how I am, I get lost easy. All right, get on the wrong trail and didn't realize it. Okay. So enjoy the walk and even if you've seen part of this before, <clears throat> don't, don't worry, it's still fun. Every day is different. Look, I see a few leaves have fallen. It's not fall yet, oh. We're not even into August. Can't be fall yet, but sometimes leaves do fall. fall prematurely but okay now I'll show you where you see the trail from anyone that's watched my other videos and saw me on this trail would have seen me I'll show you where when I get to it okay it's a little bit farther yet not much all these trails goes up to the street, probably to Portland, there is a street nearby there. And uh, you can get on the street if you live somewhere around this area. Well, this is a great walk. I wanted to do this for quite a while. And the time was right today. Time was just right today. You have to have the right time to do things because a lot of times you got something else to do and you can't fit it in. Or it's too late in the day when you would have done it, but not enough time now. But today, it was just right. Our city is gradually building up. Once all the buildings were right about there. Now you look over there, you see quite a few buildings that have gone up recently. And there's buildings going up over here and other parts of Dartmouth as well. So there's lots of, lots of construction going on in this city right now. Hello. Oh, what a nice dog. <laughs> Wow. 
Good morning. See, people are friendly. All you gotta do is be friendly. And most people are friendly. Now, I'm not saying all people in Ontario were, were, were bad or unfriendly or rude. No, we had lots of friends up there and, and a lot of people that I played music with that we had a good time and, and they were the very best of friends. No, no, I can't. I'm just saying that there's more bad drivers on the road in Toronto because, because there's more people on the road. Percentage-wise, I don't know. Maybe about the same, but there's a lot less here because we got a lot less people. But anyways, yeah. Ontario was good. We were up there 15 years, and I enjoyed living there. I really liked it when we went downtown. We lived up in North York, which is Toronto, but it's up, up a bit. And... Um, Bathurst and Finch, that was our corner. We were just down a little bit from the corner there. And uh, it was a good neighborhood. It, it, was, it was a really nice neighborhood there. It was a Jewish, Jewish neighborhood with uh, most, most of the people who lived there were, were immigrants from Russia, the Jewish, Russian Jewish people. So that's mostly what our building was, and the people in the in that neighborhood. There was quite a bit of Filipino people there too in that neighborhood. Mostly what it was Filipino and and uh, Russian, mostly Jewish. Yeah, okay, that was our that was our building, and then the neighborhood pretty much too. Isn't this pretty in here? Lots of shade from the trees. And really nice. It's beautiful. See, there's all kinds of trails. You could you could make a mistake if you weren't paying attention. You could come along right here and go up that trail. And then you'd be off the trail. That's probably what happened when I got lost on the trail that time. I probably took one of those walkways thinking that was the trail. And I wound up on the street, and I couldn't figure out where the trail went. It never occurred to me that I walked on an exit off of the trail. Anyway, these things happen. Now we got it. Now we, we've done it. Done it once. I know if I walked from, started from that end, I'd, I'd figure this out what happened. <clears throat> I'll show you where I usually walk to when I walk this trail. Because <clears throat> I don't live nearly as far down that way as Woodside. I'm much handier to, to downtown Dartmouth. So when I walk this trail uptown, which I do quite often, I'll show you where I pick up the trail. We're almost there. Let me just check on my time here and see how it, what it looks like. 34 minutes so far, great. That's gonna be a good video. Good walking video of the trail. And uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy it because uh, it's great to walk from the Alderney Station or from Woodside Station to Alderney Station. And it's a nice walk. Full length video doing that.
Let's look out over here. That's some of these boats. Very nice. Huh? There's the bridge. We're a little closer to it now. And the train track right down there. Which you won't see any trains on today because of that problem. Look at this. I want to show you something right here. This is the result of that washout we had. Look. This is what happened. Right here. The ground all washed out underneath this and it caved in. There's some of the roads that have done that too. Some of the roads are no longer passable because that's what happened. Well, now you know what the water can do to our roads here. That's one thing I've found. But there was a lot more. And it washed rocks and gravel all over the highways and all kinds of stuff like that. And today you'd never know it. It's all calm and nice. Some of these buildings are getting some work done to them. I think they belong to Kelm as well. I think these are Kelm apartments too. I'm pretty sure. If you're coming to Halifax and you want to get an apartment, I tell this to a lot of people. If you want to have a place all secured before you get here, contact Kelm Apartment Rentals. Okay. I think it's K-I-L A-M or it could be two L's one or the other I might see their name on something yeah, and then I'll get the spelling right yeah there's a sign right there that green sign on the, on the wall there I might get the spelling off of that as I go by if it's K-I-L-L-A-M or K-I-L-A-M Kilm Apartment Rentals. They own a lot of buildings. And they're not all the older type like these. Some of them are new. They own some uh, new high rises too. I think. Let me look. Let me take my sunglasses down so I can see the thing. K I L L A M. Kilm. Okay. And you can, uh, you can just mail in your deposit and secure your apartment. When you get here, you got a place to go. We did that, and I can tell you it works out great. You don't have to worry about sending your money in for your deposit. It, it'll all work out. When you get here, you just got to go in and sign in and, and all that stuff, and then, you're, then you got a place to go. It works great. It's a lot better than coming down and then trying to find a place. There's a lot of apartment uh, people who rent apartments that they try to uh, they try to take you for a ride. They want to take your money, and no guarantees you're going to get in the apartment. So but kill them is good. I know from experience. We came here in 2018, and we're still renting from them. Same place where we came to. Five years ago. Now I have to, I have to trespass a little bit here because this trail doesn't go right through here. This is a It's the property of this building right here, but I'm going to walk through there anyway because well, I go all the way around, and right? I don't want to go all the way up there and around and back down when I can just go through here. And I can pick up the trail on the other side.
I'll be soon down to my where I usually get on when I walk uptown. I don't live nearly that far away. Fairly close to where I'm at right now. Yeah, and here's the trail again. And this is not where I usually get on either. I'll show you where I usually. When I walk uptown, you don't see much of the trail. You're not going to see a whole lot of it over again that you've seen several times because this is not where I get on either. We have to actually go on the train track here. Okay, we'll let these people come through first and then we'll walk down. Hello. Hey. I like me standing right on the track that the train's coming. <laughs> I moved before it hit me, but I like to see the front of it coming down the track. It won't be done today because there's no there's no way out of here until they fix the, the line that got washed out. So there won't be any trains today going anywhere. I don't know how long it'll take. That was a significant hole that washed out. So maybe, maybe a week, maybe, maybe. If they really pour all the resources into it, they might, might get that fixed in a week. Um, yeah, I think, no, just down here is where I usually no, I think it's there. I think it's right there. We go walk up the hill. That's where I usually get on a lot of the time. And sometimes it's down across from Tim Hortons. So, one of the two I usually get on this walking trail. So the rest of it might look a little familiar to some of you, but that's okay. I'm sure there'll be people see this video that haven't seen any of my, my walking trail ones down here by the water but if you have if you're bored you know there's like a I got like hundreds of videos on there yeah you can just click on that one and find another one if, if you've crossed it too many times okay no big deal I won't be I won't be insulted if you just if you've been over this trail too many times you can just say click there you go we'll find something else you're good all right, enough of that. Let's see. Let's see, what can, what can we talk about today? We can talk about other video makers that I watched and that's how I got started. The very first person I watched making videos was Action Kid. Maybe you ran across him. He's, uh, he's covering a whole North America now, but he used to be he used to be uh, doing videos in New York City, and I started watching him and him doing walking around doing talk something like I'm doing, and uh, that's how I learned to how to do this was watching him, and uh, then I started watching Johnny Strides in, in uh, Toronto. And uh, a lot of times he goes by places where I used to know, and, you know, stuff like that. So I uh, watch him too. And there's a couple in Halifax. I haven't seen anything from them for a while, but Bevy, I used to watch her videos. I should check it out again one day soon. Bevy, if you happen to see this video of me walking along here talking, I promise I'm going to see if you got any recent videos okay somehow I I don't know I don't know what it was I just got away from looking at Halifax videos so but, uh, but I got to get back and start watching other people's videos again here it's, that's important so I will I promise I will be looking at some of your videos okay Bevy Y H Z or Z 
is uh, another video maker in Halifax. She was here before I was. I remember when I started with no subscribers, she was around 500 subscribers. And by the time I got 500, she was over a thousand. And now I'm over a thousand. So, and they're, and they're signing on fast. Like I'm getting the, the subscribers, the, the more you get, the faster it, it, it picks up. For, for anybody thinking about uh, getting into this, you can make money on YouTube. I make it a lot, but because but, I haven't got enough uh, videos out there yet, enough subscribers, uh, enough people watching yet. I get I get enough that I'm making money, but not not a lot of money. Okay, but I don't really need a lot of money because I'm retired and. Uh, I've, and my my wife is still working. She got a good job, and I'm retired. So, and I get my pensions and stuff. And between the two of us, we do, we're doing okay. And our son lives with us, and he's got a job as well. So, things are working out all right. But I still want to see it. I want still want to get my subscribers built up more because it's always nice to know you got a large audience when you're uh, talking about things. Well, here is the place where I usually start my walk when I walk uptown, right here. Okay. The other side of this little crossover is where I usually start walking. That's why my walk isn't all that long when I walk up the trail to alternate because I just get on right here. The bulk of the trail is behind me where I came from. Most of the trail is that way. But this is the same trail. Goes back across the railroad track again. Some murals on the walls here. Hello. All right. Now, this is the, if you go up that road right there, it comes right out at Tim Hortons on Portland, downtown Dartmouth, okay? That street right there. <clears throat> All right. I had this coffee ever since <clears throat> Woodside, and uh, if I don't drink it fast, I'm gonna. Uh, it's gonna be cold. So I gotta have a drink. <clears throat> and I got something stuck in my throat here, so I need a drink of coffee really bad. Ah, there. I drank about a half a cup right there in that gulp. There we go. Now this should be gone by the time I get to Alderney. <clears throat> okay. You know what it is? I got I got sinus sinus problems. And it drips down my from my sinuses and goes down my throat and gets me gagging and choking, but it's not a it's not a cold or a cough or a COVID or anything like that, no. <clears throat> it's just my sinuses. So bear with me if I happen to get a a, a coughing spell. I'm not even a smoker, so don't worry. It's not. It's not. Um, There's nothing serious. Just my sinuses. Okay. Isn't this a great trail? A lot of cities don't have this. This is a something that's kind of unique to Halifax. We can go for miles on these trails. A lot of them are paved. Some of them are gravel. Like the one up at, at uh, Shuby Park. I was on the other day. That's part of the Trans-Canada Trail. You can walk on that. 
and there's there's several of them around here, not just these these few I've mentioned, but there's others. There's a one I did of walking down a it used to be a train track, and they no longer use that line, and they made a trail out of it. And I think it goes to Bayer's Lake from the north end of Halifax. Wherever I get on it there. Uh, yeah, it was somewhere around the Halifax Shopping Center where I got on the track, on that walking trail. And you can see it used to be a train track, just looking at how, how it is. And uh, I walked a ways and then I got off again. But one day, I'm going to do that one too. I'm going to walk that all the way up to Bayer's Lake. <clears throat> If you want to see a train really close up, <clears throat> one one day I was walking this right here, and I was just getting to that bridge, and I turned around like that, and I said, I wish a train would come along right now. And I'd stick my phone out over the fence and, and get a really close up picture of that train. I looked off in the distance, there's a curve down there. Now a street, the leaves are out, you might not be able to see, but I, Looked down there and I saw a train. <clears throat> so I waited on the bridge for the train to come. <clears throat> when the train got here, I stuck my phone up there. I was really close to the train. And it made a really good... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. There. I think I'm good now. Ah, there. One more drink of coffee. Clear my throat. One more drink of coffee. I should be all right. Ah, there. Perfect. See that? All right. Yeah, I was right on this bridge when the train came up the track. So if you have, find that video, I don't know what it was called, but you might stumble across it. <clears throat> I had a really good close-up picture of the train. <clears throat> Tracks right here, but you're not allowed to go on that track for good reason. You might get hit by a train. So you're not allowed to go there. <clears throat> but the bridge, is, the walking bridge is right beside it. And I thought, what a great spot to I can just take a, a good little part of my video on that train when it comes by. They put a lot of work into these trails. Like, look at all the, the work that went involved in putting these rails up and paving this. And, like, it's great. It's just, this place is full of trails. Trails everywhere. If you like biking, you'd love Halifax because, especially if you got a mountain bike or something, you know, you love these trails. They're not all paved, there's some of the rocks and stuff. And you, you, you love it. <clears throat> some of the new apartment buildings that's gone up here. I don't know if they're apartments or condos, but it's the same thing. If you're living in it, it, it's the same, whether it's an apartment or a condo. Condo means you own it, apartment, you're renting it, it's, it's all the same thing. Yes, uh, wait now, I'll show you where I was. I wasn't on the, that bridge. I think it was right down here when the train went by. Yeah, I was, right, I was standing somewhere right around here when the train went by that time. One day maybe I'll do it again. And just in case anybody never saw the first one. Yeah. So we're downtown now. We're, down, we're downtown Dartmouth. But I'm going to stick right onto the trail, so because I promised we've got to walk from terminal to terminal on the trail. And that's what we're going to do. The ambulance in there, if something happened.
you like this trail? Like it just goes on and on, doesn't it? I'm almost to the end though. If you made it this far in the video and you haven't quit, stick with me. We're gonna get to the ferry terminal in Alderney very soon, okay? A little bit more. So don't give up now. If you hung in here this long, a little bit more. And we'll be to Alderney Terminal, which is downtown Dartmouth, uh, Dartmouth Halifax uh, line. When you get on the ferry, you go from Dartmouth to Halifax. Downtown Dartmouth to downtown Halifax. I love it when you get off the you get off the ferry on the Halifax side. You're right downtown. You don't have to kick a bus to get anywhere. You're you're already right right downtown when you get off the you get off the ferry. <clears throat> Oh, it's getting warm out. I'm really, I'm glad I left my jacket on. I'm really happy about that. <clears throat> this is getting warm out now. All right, we can go. No, well, the way we are is good. It's fine here. I can go down. There's a little bit of trail down there, but. <clears throat> I'll just stick to this because it all comes out the same place. Okay. See, you can still see Halifax. It's like all the way along in the trail, you still see Halifax. And we've been walking for half an hour, and it still looks like we're across the harbor from Halifax. Because it, it curves. It curves around. That's why you're still looking at it, no matter where you are. Because uh, it, it curves. The harbor curves. There we are, shade again, at last. At last, we have some shade. All right, we're going to make our last little journey to the Halifax, to the Dartmouth side, Alderney Terminal. They call that Alderney Landing right there where the terminal is. That's the building over there, the gray one. The one just past the white colored looking one. The next one, that's the ferry terminal. But we're going to go down here because it's the rest of the trail. And I said I was going to walk the trail from terminal to terminal. And this time I completed it. I don't know how I got off the trail before, but it don't matter. Now I know, I know what to do. I'm glad I, I walked it again because now I don't have to worry about next time I want to do it. I know how to do it. And we will come right out at the ferry town. And my coffee lasts to be the whole journey. Wow. Can you imagine? I got to see how many minutes is on this one. I, I got to get my my phone in the shade so I can see it. A little bit of a shade right here. There we go. It is. One hour. One hour and, and, and I'm starting to, the next. It's gonna be a long video, but that's good. Don't give up when you watch it. Do you got nothing to do? Do you enjoy watching it? Listen to me ramble, talking about stuff. Yeah, I hope you fill your day. If you're, if you're bored right to death, and or if you're lonely, and if you're sitting by yourself and you need somebody to talk to, just imagine I'm, you're you're on this walk with me. Okay, put yourself in the video. You're right beside me. We're walking along, just talking as we, as we uh, make our journey on this trail. All right, so look at it like that, and maybe you won't be so. Lonely sitting there. A lot of people can't get out. There's a lot of people that uh, watch these videos that, that they've got mobile, mo mobile, mobile problems. Mobility. There, I'll get my tongue around it eventually. Mobility problems. Can't walk very far. And especially in the winter, they don't get out much. 
you know, they watch my walking videos and they and they let me know that they they enjoy it because they can't get out. And so, if that's you, just pretend you're walking right along with me and and uh, we're talking, having a good time, great day, enjoying the sunshine. And I'm at the Old and Eternal. Can you believe it? I'm here. I'm going to sign off right up here. I'm going to find a nice little spot in the shade so I can sign off. I know you enjoyed this walk. You had to. You couldn't, couldn't help yourself. You have to enjoy this walk. So I'm going to go right over here by this railing and finish my coffee and then sign off. Okay? Hang in there with me while I finish my coffee. There it is, look, it's all gone. All right, <clears throat> here we are. That's the terminal building right over there. <clears throat> and uh, there's one of the ferries coming in. See it? It's coming into the terminal here. And after it parks, and you'll see people coming out this side, if I'm still talking. Okay with that. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to push that like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, push that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it'll help me out immensely. The more subscribers I get, the more coffee I can drink. Because I'll, 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 make, I'll make enough money to keep myself in three cups of coffee a day instead of two. All right. <laughs> oh, I've lost it. I'm, I'm, I'm over the edge today. I'm over the top. I've obviously overdosed on caffeine today. So, anyways, if you are a subscriber, my thanks to you for subscribing to this uh, channel, for supporting the channel. I thank you very much for that. And uh, with that, I hope you're having a really nice day. Take care, be safe, and above all, tell your tell your friends about Halifax Walker. If you got somebody that, that you know that might enjoy my video, tell them tell them about the Walker, and they'll love watching my videos. Okay, that's it for now. Take care, be safe. Bye.